Just a few steps from her bed and Kayla Jeanson is set to begin another work day. She's one of the first to lay her head in Red River College's student residence downtown and it's her job to blog about it. Well, I love downtown Winnipeg. I love specifically the Exchange District. Um, I find myself drawn here naturally anyways, so I thought, well, why not live here and uh, really experience what it's like to live in downtown Winnipeg? Some pictures. That has her visiting local watering holes. For example, this past weekend, I went to Fox and Fiddle, and so I wrote about the experience, what it was like, the atmosphere in there, and the food and everything. Yeah. She also blogs about entertainment in the district, and because she lives in Res, her meal tickets take her here, to the Culinary Exchange. The problem of very, a lack of grocery stores doesn't really apply to many of the students living in residence because they're not making all of their own meals anyways. Like, they, they can go downstairs and enjoy a meal that's already prepared for them. I always forget about your part. Kayla's gig as a blogger in residence is a summer thing, and that's just one of the ways that the college is looking to creatively fill space during the summer months. Altogether, there are 102 spaces available, and so the college is counting on a growing desire to live downtown. Why wouldn't we want to develop here in the Exchange District? Uh, this is a growing, vibrant part of Winnipeg. It's the heart of the city. Uh, it's a place where people are coming together more and more every day, and we felt that we should be a part of that, and a great opportunity was to take a heritage building and breathe new life into a vacant building and give it a new purpose in downtown Winnipeg. This building is centered around applied learning with hospitality and culinary arts students running the place top to bottom. It's also one other, you know, business and, and venue and spot that people can come to in the evening. They can get meals here at the Culinary Exchange. They can have a fine dining experience at the James Restaurant. And really it's just complementing everything else that's been happening in the Exchange District. The Patterson Global Foods Institute has transformed this area of the exchange, but it'll take time to change perceptions of our downtown, particularly around safety. I go out at night, especially when there's events going on in the summer. I think it's more of a, pr a problem in the winter, um, but if, if people are living downtown, you need to go out at night sometimes, and so I think that'll, that will help contribute to a safer and happier place. To many, the Exchange is an entertainment district, a place for artists, architects, and boutique-style business. But Kayla sees the presence of students diversifying the area. They could go catch a Gold Eyes game, or they could uh, go see a movie at Cinematheque. They can, you know, they, they, they have so many possibilities. And I think uh, no matter what your interest, there's something for every student here. Right now, Kayla's blogs get around 500 views a day. If you want a downtown dweller perspective on the exchange, you can find them on Red River College's website or follow her at GSJ Blogger on Twitter. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.